Previously on the Traveling Together Journal, we were enjoying the relaxation and excitement of southern Nicaragua when we received an invite to the island of Utila to take a scuba certification course with Utila Dive Center. Of course, we said yes. And after weeks of adventuring through the mountains of northern Nicaragua and central Honduras, we've arrived in the port town of La Ceiba on the Caribbean coast of Honduras. All right, taxi just dropped us off, and we are gonna try to figure out where to buy our tickets to Utila on the ferry. How much was it? 1,150 pesos. Once boarding began, our tickets were checked, and we were shown to the back deck, where Jagger was reluctantly loaded into a crate provided by the ferry. The ferry wasn't very busy, so seating was plentiful, and it wasn't long before everyone was boarded and we were underway. The clean modern boat and friendly crew provided a pleasant ride as we made the 24 mile crossing to Attila in just 50 minutes. We arrived to a colorful Caribbean waterfront in the town of Utila. After retrieving our old buddy, we disembarked and were quickly greeted by a friendly bilingual driver from our hotel. He enjoyed Jagger's company in the van as he squeezed up the narrow streets to the Mango Inn our home for the next five days. All right, we just got in, um, checked in, and we got a dorm room, which is um, what they standardly give you for free um, for lots of the different dive programs. And the program we're doing is a four and a half day program, um, and we decided to come an extra day before the program starts tomorrow, just kinda like check out the island and chill. We are on our way to school. Well, we must be a little over eager because we got here early. So we're just gonna hang out for a bit and wait for our course to start. Pretty excited about it. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun and a pretty cool skill to learn and to be able to do in future travels. Day one wasn't too exciting. We filled out forms, did some book work, and watched instructional videos to introduce us to the equipment and skills that we would be learning. Good morning. It's going to be day two of our uh, open water paddy certification course. And we were told we we're gonna get in the water today. Um, we're supposedly gonna go over equipment for like two hours or something like that. And it is a little mentally overwhelming after watching all of those videos yesterday. Once we all had a grasp on the basic function and setup of our gear, we suited up and got in the water for our first confined dive. A confined dive is when we get in the water with all of our gear on, but stay in a limited shallow area as we learn new skills under the supervision of our instructors. With only four students in the class, we were able to move along at an engaging pace as we practiced the skills that we had seen in the classroom yesterday. Grip each other's right forearms like this. This keeps you together and leaves your left hand free to deflate your PCD and control your buoyancy as you ascend. Okay, we just finished our second day of diving and well second day of dive school dive school first day in the water and i'm gonna admit i really really don't like it when we have our mask off and then you're breathing out through your regulator and all the bubbles fly in front of your face and your nose and you don't have anything to cover it it totally freaks me out but our instructors were super patient and by confined dive three it's doing a lot a lot better well we are Walking back to Jagger and our hotel room, and we stopped at the convenience store just in front of the dive school. Got ourselves a couple of rewards. Here's Matt to a good day in the water. And tomorrow we are doing our first open water dive. We get going to see on going on a boat. Get to see some coral, maybe some fishies, maybe some big fishies. Thank you. 
<laughs> I was swimming and they slowed down and they just like peered up at me and it was really 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 neat and here they actually have hard and soft coral so it was really really cool to like see the coral just kind of like wafting in the currents oh and tonight is two for one pizza night at the mango inn so we made a little date with our school buddies. They're so beautiful. Today is going to be more classwork. Yay! Diving! Woohoo! And then we're going to do another confined dive to practice skills. All right, so we just finished all of our book work and we did pretty good. Yeah, we like, passed. We passed. <laughs> no, we did good. Um, so we are like done with all movies, exams, book work, and it's actually really nice to be like taking a test and doing all these like charts and using our brains. <laughs> it's nice to know they still work. So we just stopped off at a little local restaurant here and we ordered one of the typical dishes which is a balida. It's a homemade flour tortilla that always comes with uh, refried beans and queso and then they like put a bunch of other stuff in there if that's what you want. I got the vegetarian with avocado and Matt got a chicken with avocado. It's a little bit of an intimidating food item. It's like almost bigger than your head. Pretty tasty. They yeah? Like a, it's almost like a pico de gallo thing, but not as much cilantro. Is it spicy? No. It's good. I like it. Good morning. Today is day five, our final day of our dive program, and the entire day is going to be open water dives. We are going to still be doing some drills. Uh, lots of those drills, uh, we don't have a lot of footage of it because we're like very busy and they're very serious. They're just the little solutions and problems basically to um, lots of things that I guess can happen while you're underwater and so the drills are supposed to make us more comfortable if they actually happen uh, and not freak out. So we just keep doing them. And then after lunch we get to go do two real dives so that is pretty exciting uh, we should just be able to like cruise and go check some stuff out Next time on the Traveling Together Journal, 
We're back on the move in our trusty steed, experiencing more of Honduras' natural beauty and taking a little time to learn some history along the way.